day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. The church, the church, it has to get It's going to get better. The church is going to get better because we get a good understanding. Even the five of us sitting here right now are dwell dealing with stuff that some of us never thought about before sitting in the midst of the congregation. Because there's a lot of lies and, and, and misconceptions and mis being preached right there out the era in the church. Exactly. So now we're learning from the Lord and he's teaching us the right way. And he said he would give himself pastors out of his own heart who would teach him with knowledge and understanding. So we may be looking at the judgment beginning in the household of God and him correcting some of the errors that we made up to this right, point. Right, right. I think so. so. I, it's, it's, in other words, it's, if, even though the devil meant it for bad, God will turn it for good. Oh, yeah, if, definitely. If, if the church, and, 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 okay, look, we're the church. And if they have to take it one at a time, then it's one at a time. But God yeah. is sitting there saying for the body, to start showing people the way. The way is Christ Jesus. Yes. The answer is Christ Jesus. The, it's not the flesh, because we just read the works of the flesh. Hate you know, doesn't if bring you, you go back to those scriptures, one thing that stood out to me was you had love. Yeah. Was it peace or joy? I'll bring it back up. Joy. It's, it's love, joy, peace, long peace, suffering. Long suffering. Um, patience. I, well, I can't remember. Long but suffering. When you bring, long suffering is patience. Yeah, it's, it's patience. When you bring it up, I, I, I can uh, make this point. So, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, and then faith. Yes. And we all know what faith is. Yeah. Now I do want to, I do want to bounce you out there. That one is really meant faithfulness, being yeah. a faithful person. In other yeah. words, if Chris said he's going to show up at such and such time to do a job, that means that's a faithful person. Okay. okay. I just want to make sure you understand. It's not okay. I, I understand now, but that when I first saw that, the first thing that came to my mind was if you show people love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentle, gentleness goodness then you can start sharing you know you can change their mind with god's word well you know and the because thing about it, in the read i said the importance of the the faith piece is you do what you said you're going to do yeah if you yeah. promise it you go and fulfill the promise you yes. don't lie to people because that's really what that's one of the biggest things that cause people to ride you lie yes. You said you're going to do this. You said you're going to address this. You said you're going to fix it. You said you're going to go ahead and stop police corruption and, and police brutality. You said it. Yep. But you didn't. You went right back to it. And the matter of fact, those same police officers, there's good police officers and there's the bad ones. The bad ones will go ahead and operate like, well, yeah, we all come out y'all. We all going to do the right thing. And the first thing they do is stop somebody in the doggone road and beat the hell out of them because they sit there and doing the same way they've been doing all the time. You have to get to the point where the faithful cops, and I think this one, Chris, I think, I may be wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that maybe those people that's been arrested with that guy that did the wrong thing mm -hmm. and sent a message, because if they get arrested too, and I think they plan on arresting them, right? Well, if they start getting to the point, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, because survival is, is, is a natural thing for most people. And they're going to get to the point where a cop will sit there and say, hey, bro, stop. Or I'm going to arrest you. Because I ain't Remember. going to jail for you. I am no, yeah. I'm just saying, Chris, the guy be a super point along the line, if I, I don't know, I need a job. And I don't want to go to jail. I understand what you're saying, but until the law changes that says that, that, that there is a level of, or, or a progression of stepping up your level to take out somebody or as a threat, until another cop or the rule changes that says, I can turn his butt in and won't no repercussions happen to me, it's not gonna change. But, no, but, but see, there's two but things. The, the, that, law, let me... the law exists already. 
the law already exists. That's why they're going to go to jail. Because, Chris, they were part, they, they had but the see, obligation. This is, go ahead. The, the issue is, it's the justice system. <laughs> they need an outside agency that will prosecute these cases outside of the one that that these people work for you can't have you cannot have your boss which is the da the judge the person who's your boss judge you because you're part of him that makes them look bad that's true and why would they want to do that so yeah. unless you have an agency yeah outside of that that prosecutes these people yeah there will be no fairness in it that's a good point that's good so because they have internal fair. You know that, right? You know you got internal Like you fair. just said, it, it's internal. So it don't yeah. matter. Well, but the other hey. part of that is, if these people do stand up and say something, then the rest of these folks won't have their back when they're actually in a dangerous situation. They'll, yes, they won't show up for them. They'll let them go into a place of violence by themselves hoping that something would happen to them. But what is I think the church has to, to, to come up and be that agency. We got to remind people that there's a moral God judging them. These guys didn't just kill somebody before men. They didn't just <laughs> kill off a black man. Right? They killed off a took a guy's life in the sight of God. It broad yeah, but yeah, uh, whether we call them in a check or not. <laughs> hey, don't forget it was broad daylight. But Chris, no, I, I answer, I'm talking, I ain't talking about the, Cause they got the same snitch code like 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 the. Oh yeah, it's even worse with them. If, so so I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about the. Let's take the scenario that just occurred, or at least showed on video. I'm sitting there saying, and this, especially when I'm being taped, Chris. Hey Chris, especially when I know there's a video going on right there. I'm mm -hmm. sitting there saying, "This guy, look, you need to get off the man's neck, cause I ain't going to jail for you." It's, it's just simple survival. This is not even snitching. I can't be snitching if you got everybody else watching you. <laughs> yeah, but here you go. Did y'all watch that movie Black and Blue yet? Yeah. No, yeah, I, I, I saw that. I, I saw that. I saw it. I mean, went through all kind of mess just to get that one cop. Yes, video. one cop. Right. Yeah. Right. But the other one was uh, Brooklyn uh, falling or something with that, that guy that, where they cut off uh, New York yeah. City. The bridges. Yeah. The bridge, yeah. right? Yeah. They, all that was cop corruption. And, and see, and that's the problem. Everybody know the crop cops are corrupt. Like you say, it's, it's the it, it's an old rap song. I said it's the system that dissed them. That's what's wrong. That's why black folks are mad. And and, and even the cops in there because they don't get enough pay, Chris, that 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 little money that they confiscate from the drug dealers. We need to keep it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's so what's the difference. Yeah, There's exactly. no difference in the two. None. You know, like the, said, the money's made is 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 just as corrupt as a corrupted cop. You became you became cop. Yeah. So you know, it's just the the whole system is 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 rigged. It's 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 not for us. Well, so not the us only system that's that, that that's going to support you, no matter what position you in, is the system that God put in place. That's the whole and point. Until, until we demonstrate and we walk in authority in that, then it's not going to change. And when you look at us, okay, we, we taking, I can honestly say we're taking this serious. We're renewing our minds. We're not only hearing this stuff, we're trying to apply it apply to it. our lives. Yeah. We're trying to, we're, we're, we're letting it change us. We're not trying to change ourselves. It's changing us from the inside out. outward. And it's making a difference. I know it's making a difference in my yes, life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know the things that we talk about, it has surely blessed me and, and moved me in a in a in a direction toward uh or uh from it's moved me from faith to faith. Yes, sir. So in that, I know that there's with us, we can't be the only ram in the bush. Come on now. You know, well, God, not, God, God always has a remnant. Yes, I think you know, of, of of true righteousness. You know, uh, that that are are doing His will. Yes, sir. Uncorrupt. Yes, sir. You know what? Based on His His standards. Right. His motive of operation. 
yeah. his will. Yeah. So in that, that's that's my hope. Yeah. And I know if God can keep me and, and he can quell this 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 energy that 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 uh that wants to rise up right. and do something about what's going on in society. Yeah. If if his word can calm that down in me, then I know it can do that in others. Yes. And if I know that if us, we're, we, we have not been affected by this at all. Yes. It's, you know, it could be a family member or something. I don't know. I don't know and that all the fruits of the spirit are operating. And I mean, I know our lives. Exactly. So if, it, if that's happening in us, I know that's happening in other people it who is. are actually who are generally, genuinely looking to God right. to renew their mind, yeah. to to live this life out, to 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 be perfected yeah. by His Word. Right. So that is the saving grace. That is what keeps me my mind sound. Right. You know that is what gives me peace. That's what pulls all this anger in. When I realize who I am, whose I am, my purpose in this life. And even when we were locked in and it seems like there was just no hope, I just am, I just know that I'll be able to get out and talk to people about my God. Because Amen. that is what this is all about. That is the gospel. That's true. We have to share the good news. Right. In the midst of the storm. In the midst of it. Because yeah. that's when God uses us. When we commit ourselves to God to share this good news. This, he, he always showed up when people were at their lowest. Yes. That, that's, and he gave them strength. Yeah. He gave them peace. He gave them energy. He gave them wholeness. He healed. You know? He, he healed the mind, the soul, and the spirit. Right. Just from showing up. And I think that's what God is trying to tell us. This is, even though the devil meant it for bad, I'm guaranteeing you God is saying good is going to come out of this. Because what people are going to find out is they're looking for an answer. And it's time, it's time where the church is there and bring the answer. Chris, we're going to do it with Brother Josh. got to do the uh, communion. Is uh, and I mean to pick on Chris, but Chris, Chris is a good reader. It's uh, Isaiah 60, uh, verse one. And 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 uh, let me see here, it goes all the way to five, one through five. All right, arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. That's Brother Jackson. But behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Come on. Gross darkness the people. Come on. But the Lord shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Uh huh. <laughs> and the Gentiles shall come to thy light. What? And kings to the brightness of thy rising. Come on, brother. Lift mm -hmm. up thine eyes round about and see. Yes, sir. All they gather themselves together. Uh huh. They come to thee. Yes, sir. Thy son shall come from far, and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Yes. Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thine heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. Amen. In other words, this is a prophecy. The force of the Gentiles, what are Gentiles? Non-believers. Mm -hmm. But right now, the non-believers are trying to fix the problem. The non-believers are trying to address the issue. So what Brother Allison was trying to say earlier, and whether he said it or not, God is saying, the church, this is your time. Amen. To Amen. rise and shine. And so that people can see in gross darkness, light. Amen. You are the light. And you need to operate in this. In other words, I'm not going to get a solution of hate. I'm going to give a solution of love. Amen. I'm going to operate in peace in the midst of a crisis. There's a virus going on right now, Chris. It's killing people. There's also cop 
killing. There's also gang killing. There's also craziness in our government. There's craziness in the whole world. Somebody's looking for the church to rise and shine. And Jesus is going to make that happen. If the glory of the Lord shall rise upon you. Yeah, he's stuck. He's stuck in a shh mode. <laughs> Are you all right now? Because a few seconds ago, you were like this. Oh, really? <laughs> hey, you got in. wrapped it in the midst of your <laughs> That's all right. Hands up. You still can hear me, though, right? Hands up. <laughs> but you heard what I said. The church yes, is waiting. In other words, the world is waiting. Matter of fact, Elder, it's Romans, ain't it? It's Romans. Romans 8, ain't it? There's is a, is the manifestation the, of the Son of God. Come on. Yeah, my, are you with me? Yeah. The, the whole, my, why don't we read it real quick? Hey, while you pulling it up, while you pulling it up, you know, what keeps coming to me is when we say the church, remember we said this to ourselves, the church is not necessarily the building. It's no, not. It's, it's in us. We are the church. We are the church. So what, it, what we're saying to ourselves, to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, brothers, is that we got to rise up. Preach! Okay, we, we've it. got, what are we individually going to do? And what will happen is, is as we individually uh, impact on, and influence others, allow the spirit to work through us, Come on, others man. will be. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be in mass and a lot of people are just going to, you know, do their thing. But just like in the Bible, in the word, you know, when Jesus was walking the crowds and people touched him, it wasn't everybody that was impacted. It was those who, who were ready. It was yeah. those who, who he, he, he chose. And and uh, and that's what we got to do, you know. So, yeah. you know, I'll be honest with you. It, I, I, I'm not knocking my home church or anybody else's churches out there. I'm not looking for that building. Right. You come on, brother. Anything. Come on. You look for Jesus. I need to do is I need to do what God what, what's God calling me to do. Come on, brother. You look for what, Jesus. Come on. Amen. Amen. That amen. Jesus is the answer. And I like what look. I like what Isaiah was saying, Chris. It is that the glory of the Lord shall rise upon thee, right? And look, this one I'm going to share with uh, Brother Jackson. Then we do the communion, Brother Jackson. It's Roman, all right? Is he stuck again? Yes, he is. Yeah, you but I appreciate, the, I appreciate the humming in the background, Elvin. Can you hear me? Oh, now? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can y'all hear me? You that loud. Okay, there you go. Uh, yeah, back. You're back now. But can you can you hear, keep hearing the voice? So you don't hear the no, voice either? No. no, when you stuck, you stuck, bro. Wow. When you get stuck, it, it either bounces, Addison takes over the meeting, or Johnson takes over the meeting. <laughs> no, that ain't what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. when you, hey, that's why you heard his humming. It, it, it jumped in. It made yeah. you a host, man. <laughs> that's all right. We got oh, co hosts. Yeah. Got so it's validated. Jesus, You're in charge of you, <laughs> Jesus in charge of this. It don't you know that, stop. That's right. Amen. But brother, yeah. before you do the uh, communion, let's do this. This is uh, Romans chapter eight, starting at eighteen. And why don't you finish with the uh, twenty-seven? Romans eight twenty-seven. All right, you talking to me, Pastor? Yes, sir. Roger that. All right, Romans chapter eight, verses eighteen. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption. Amen. Into yeah, the man. glorious liberty of the children of God. Come on, Ooh, that's a lot right there. Ooh, it? you ain't lying, brother. You ain't lying. <laughs> Come on. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. Yes. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit. Even we ourselves groan within ourselves, on, waiting man. for the adoption to win the redemption of our body. Yes, Thank sir. God. For we are saved by hope. Hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. Come on hope now. But if man seeth, why doeth he yet hope for? Come on. But if we hope for what we see not, 
Yes, sir. Then do we, with patience, wait for it? Yes, Amen. sir. Uh -huh. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. Come on now. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but Come the on. Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Uh huh. And he that searcheth the heart knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit. Yes, sir. Because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Amen. Come on. Amen. 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 And 28 it says, For we know that all things work. Come on now. You got work it. For the good, huh? Mm -hmm. All things work together for the good to them that love God. Mm -hmm. To them who are qualified according to His purpose. His Not purpose. Not their purpose, but His that's right. purpose. That's right. All things work together. And that's why we're waiting for the glory. Y'all still hear me, right? I ain't frozen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, the, the, the glory of the Lord is mm -hmm. risen upon us. Mm -hmm. The whole world is waiting for the church. Sure. It's tired of the law. It's tired of people trying to do the law. Because Chris, they ain't going to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? The law does not work. That's the tale. Laws. God, come on. Can we look at 29 too? Yes, sir. One second. Let me bring it back up. We know what happened to us. Trying to find the arrow here. Oh, we know it. <laughs> Where my cursor at? <laughs> You know, you know, you got this cursor, and you're looking for. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ah, I need me a co-host. It's on Brother Jackson. It's on me. Yeah. Go no, ahead. Hey, hey, why don't you just read it, uh, Elder? I can't see it. Yeah, I mean, read. Who got a Bible open? <laughs> oh, oh, you talking? Oh, yeah, I got that. <laughs> you got it. You got it. I got to pull up my 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 jawbone. <laughs> Hey, what what verse was it? I found it. I found it. Yeah, I found it. I found it. I found it. I, found it. I, I couldn't find the. Uh, I couldn't find the. Uh, I couldn't 829. get. Hey Chris. Hey Chris. I couldn't get the arrow working. <laughs> you should see it. You should see it. It's right there. Elder. Oh yeah. You bring it down one more. One more. One second. Uh -huh. Just come down a little bit. Yes, sir. For whom he did for no, he also did. Go ahead. For whom he did for no, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Yes, sir. Moreover, whom he did predestine, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Amen. And that falls back in Isaiah 60. Yeah. I mean, we read that. They said, rise and shine, brother Adams. This yes. is the time. In it the is. midst of a crisis, this is the time, Chris. The answer is Jesus, and that we are the ambassadors of Christ. Amen. Yes. And even as we we're going, we go, we're, we're, going, we're going live. So somebody's looking at it. I guarantee Amen. some people looking at it. Amen. I see so, people view on the set. I see it. Chris we know people. that if he promised it, it's going to come to pass. It's going to come to pass. That he is well able to perform. Woo! Is, come on, bro. Come what on. What you got to do is keep an eye on the prize. You know, Woo. we uh, we not, we allowing all these worldly things to, uh, you know, we're taking our mind off of what's really important, and that's Jesus. And yes, doing sir. what he wants us to do. And knowing that, remind, being reminded that that spirit is in us. We know how we're supposed to act. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And you know what? You know what? Pray to the fact that I forget who's sovereign. You know what, right. Brother, Jack Brother, Jack <laughs> Brother Jackson hit it, though, y'all. We, we can, if you're looking at yes. what's the scene, mm. have no hope. Yeah. Hope is what you don't see. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. We get I tell you, Brother Jackson hit it. He hit it on, he hit the nail on the head because it's no different then the so-called president tries to keep your mind on something other than what his objective is. Yeah. The same is with this enemy of our Satan. Yeah. Tries to keep our minds yeah. outside of what God has intended for us. So we keep our hope. Come on, brother. Come on. And that's what people are that looking we, for. Yeah. That we are the ones that will be conformed 
to the image of God. Exactly. That's our hope. That's the hope. That's our hope. What we just read. And he so that we are the, the, the children that shall go forth. Amen. Oh, no, brother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, brother Jack. Right, Y'all got, your, got your stuff ready for the communion. Yeah, buddy. Sure. All right. All right. I'm not, I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not sharing it right, right? It's not sharing now, right? It, no, it's good. not. Good. Okay, good. Go ahead, Brother Jack. All right. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, you are worthy to be praised, honored, and glorified. We thank you for you, God the Father. We thank you for you, Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, thank you for the message that you've given us today from your word. Yes. There, uh, we, 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 you prepared for us a, a, a very important message. And, and Father, you reminded us that it's so easy for us to default to our fleshly ways and and to look at what's going on in the world and and uh, and thank you dear father to remind us that we are the church we are the and church. that individually uh, you are working through us yes through your spirit to help us positively impact others yes lord these lessons that we are learning individually help us to take them out into the world and again promote your gospel your word yes uh, and not in a way that that we can cultivate it so that we can Give it our own particular messages and our own particular opinions. Yes. But your message, dear Lord, yes. your way, your principles. Yes. Dear Father, it was stated earlier that uh, we aren't necessarily individually impacted by the things that are going on. But we know that eventually, in one way, some way, somehow, we will because we yes. are living in this world, yes. although we are not of the world. Yes. So let us learn from the, the disciples. Let us learn from the, the stories that Jesus spoke about in, in the word. Yes. Let us learn from Jesus himself, how he walked in the midst of all of them. And yet and still, he walked according to your will and your way. Yes. Amen. He spoke what you wanted him to speak. He did what you wanted him to do. He felt what you wanted him to feel. Yes. And Lord, he suffered through all of them. He had joy, yes, but he suffered yes. because he knew what was to, to come. He knew the victory was at hand. Yes. And if we suffer, Lord, let us be reminded, let us still have that joy because we know that the victory is at hand. We know that the world will hate us for you, Jesus. But nevertheless, let us walk according to your will, your way, and your example. Yes. And right now, Jesus, we, once again, for your glory, according to God, we take this bread and we remember you for who you are the Son of God, the yes. Savior, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. And right now we take this bread, Yes. we eat it in remembrance of you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Woo. <laughs> oh, man. Praise God. And now we take this cup. And in its contents, it's symbolic. But what a symbol of the pure blood of you, dear Jesus. Yes. No one that has ever been in existence could do what you did. Come on. <laughs> to save the whole world. Woo! All of the sins that were put upon you and the wrath of God the Father came upon you. Wow. So that souls could be saved. The least we can do, dear Jesus, is to remember you. The least we can do is to, to, to try to, to yield to your spirit yes. that you had left behind and, and walk according to the ways that you would want us to walk. Yes. Dear Jesus, I must say, at least for myself, that my flesh, it will fight against you. It'll fight against your spirit. Mm. But I want to, to yield to you. Yes. Surrender to you. Amen. Your will be your done. Will. Dear Father, so I thank you, Jesus, in so many ways, in ways that I can't even utter with, with my words, but I thank you from the Spirit yes. for who you are and what you've done for me. Yes. And right now, we all remember you. We remember you for who you are yes. and for who you are to us individually. Yes. It's not a subtle thing mm. to know that if it was just me, mm. that you would have gone through it all. Woo! It's not a subtle thing. So right now, 
how we, however you come to us, dear spirit, we take this cup and we drink it in remembrance of you, dear Jesus. Amen, amen, amen and amen. To God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, thank you for this session this morning. Thank you. Thank you for the resources that we have and impact as influences, dear Father, so that we may go out and do things according to your will and your way. Let us individually be the church and let us individually be Christ Jesus. Let people see Jesus in us. Amen. 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 Woo! All right, brothers. Let's go and rise and shine. Let the glory of the Lord rise on you. Amen. Yes, sir. And uh, I appreciate all y'all being in my therapy session for the day. <laughs> <laughs>